Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg, and in this video, I want to talk about Comprehensive Abacus Packet Chapter 7 Modeling of a Plate with Stiffeners Under Blast Load in Abacus Preview. How to ask your video related questions. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. We will try to answer all questions regarding the video details in the comments below. New Abacus users who want to develop their modeling skills faster in their projects can request user-oriented online and offline services. Subsequently, we offer a step-by-step -step guidance, tutoring, and consultancy regarding their problems. The online service includes online sessions, and the offline service includes creating a special tutorials. In addition, a combination of the two can be requested. This is the table of content for chapter 7. Okay, now I want to add a stiffeners. Model 5, simple plate with three stiffeners modeled with shell elements, okay? This is the dimension of the stiffener and its thickness is 12.5 millimeter, okay? Now, I create a copy from model 1 and I name it model 5, okay? What is its, its name? Uh, its name is model 5. Um, a stiffener one because we have two pattern of stiffeners the first uh, the first pattern has three stiffeners and the other pattern has six stiffeners that's it uh, here i want to add a stiffeners to the plate okay to the plate um first i define one stiffener and then uh, I want to add three stiffeners in the assembly module and define tie constraint between the plate and stiffeners. And also I want to introduce you the tie constraint. Okay. Here I create uh, a stiffener. It is 3D deformable shell planner. And its approximate size is 5. And here I create the origin, I fix it, and it's 2, and it is 0 0.1, okay? That's it. 2, 0 0.1. Okay, I go to the property module. I create section 2. It is shell homogeneous and its uh, value is 12.5 e minus 3. Okay, 12.5 e minus 3. And I assign it to this geometry, section 2. And also, I will define partitions on the plate because I want to define a tie constraint, okay? Uh, I go to the mesh, here we have the plate, I delete its mesh and uh, here I create two other lines at the middle, okay? And here we have it because our instance is dependent. So when you change the part, also the instance will change. See here, 
it says make independent it means that now it is dependent okay and here I import one stiffener okay now I must assemble it here first I rotate it I rotate it when you want to assemble a part in the assembly module first uh, you must uh, modify its direction okay its direction so I use um, rotate instance tool to rotate it select a start point for the axis of rotation select an end point for the axis of rotation and I want to have a 90 degree rotation that's it also I must do another rotation this point and this point that's it also uh, uh -huh. then I put it here okay I put it here and then I use pattern tool linear pattern to have two of it <coughs> sometimes abacus uh, makes problem okay uh, offset is 0 0.5 and uh, also direction is this and numbering is the uh, we want one only that's it okay when number is three we have two new ones and the original one okay very simple but here there are no connections between them okay they are only neighbors they are uh, they are uh, adjacent uh, to each other okay they are neighbors only there are no physical interaction between them okay so we must define tie constraint um here you can see we must define tie constraint and first i define tie constraint um first i remove plate okay i go to tools surface manager create i name it stiff one stiff two stiff three okay three surfaces then I want to have the plate plate one okay oh sorry uh, here we must define sets tool set manager create plate one plate two it cannot be a surface okay and plate three now I want to define tie constraint between them okay I create a tie constraint choose the master type surface surface stiff one that's it choose the slave type node region plate one okay that's it another time surface stiff two Nitrogen, plate two. Very good. 
another time uh, stf3 and um, I think here I must activate this setting exclude shell element thickness okay because uh, I didn't uh, realize the clearance between them as I told you mid surface I have done mid surface assignment okay so here I must um, activate exclude shell element thickness I'm excluding it okay uh, now it is done uh, in the load module I must redefine it if you see I must redefine it very good and also I will answer your question, don't worry. As I have partitioned the plate, the definition of pressure and boundary conditions are changed and they are incorrect, okay? What is your question? Do you want to mention uh, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... I forgot it. Uh, wait. Oh, for the tie, the in interaction, uh, you told me something before about uh, highlight the uh, distance, and then we can define the tie. Can we use it now for this one? Uh, define it. Do you mean? Aha! Aha! You mean this too? Do you mean this yeah. too? Uh, here I think no. Here I think we can, I I have not tested it. Okay, I will uh, I will uh, I will explain this tool in chapter nine. Okay, but um, uh, I think here um, I don't know. I uh, honestly uh, I don't know because um, I have not tested it on shell elements. Okay, I have because it is simple. Yes, I don't know. Okay. Yes. Uh, and uh, I want to mesh 0 0.05 again uh, and about a stiffeners 0 0.05 and also I think uh, I want to have three elements in the thickness direction Yes, uh, three elements in this direction, solid, sorry, I think three elements, or four, that's good. Uh, very nice, as it is running, I will explain uh, the slides for you, okay, don't worry. And also about tool set manager, I want to check A again. Yes, we have it. Very good. I go back, I create a job. Double precision. And I submit it. Uh, let me check is it running or not. And then I go to the slides. Yes. Okay. Here I want to talk about tie constraint. And here we have C3D8I element. Here you can see that um, S13, please see its value, its maximum, and the maximum of S33. You can see that it is much smaller. And also check it for S23. Also, it is much smaller than S33, but check it for C3D8 element. 
check the orders and you can see that they are larger in comparison to the C3D8I element results. Uh, it means that the accuracy of C3D8I is better than C3D8 in uh, bending analysis. Also, even in other cases, but the point is that the mesh must be uniform and the shape of the elements must be uh, they must not have initial distortion okay but for c3d8 it is not very important okay c3d8 and c3d8 are uh, they are less sensitive to the initial distortion but c3d8 is much sensitive and uh, or more sensitive and here um, I have compared them and uh, because of that if you have a bending analysis and you can create good mesh a high quality mesh you must use C3D8I uh-huh yes please uh, if you have any question sorry I have a question. In which cases do we have the uh, initial distortion? I didn't get it exactly. Uh -huh. so if you want to do an, do an analysis. Okay. Uh, I will. Yeah. I, 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 I understand your question. Um, you. Chapter 7 during class. Here. Um, suppose that how to purchase packages or individual chapters each of the packages and individual chapters includes CAE, JML and IMP files step-by-step -step tutorials with detailed explanations and investigation of the results slides and reference papers and standards Packages, specifications, and payment details are provided in the video description. Also, you can pay the cost of the packages in two, three, or four installments according to your budget or income. In the future, updates will be provided for free for everybody who purchases each chapter or each package. The cost of each chapter or package will increase after each update for new buyers. But those who purchase the package would have endless access to all the upcoming updates. This will make the content up to date for new needs and new problems which must be solved via FE simulation. You can contact us using Telegram or WhatsApp or you can send email to us. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk WhatsApp and we can make a special tutorials to your order. We can conduct high quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Also, we offer support in writing the modeling and result discussion part of your thesis. And we have consulting services for MSc, PhD positions, or job interviews. And we can tell you how to prepare the presentation of your simulation works. Now, I'm gonna suggest you several related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.